All right, everybody, here's a quick video on trying to help improve people's fighter experience or fighting experience. This is a starter helmet um, for a new fighter. And what we've done is, is we're soundproofing it today. Uh, you can use the soundproofing from an audio shop. You can just go there and buy it by the sheet. Tim Miller, my buddy Tim Miller turned me on to that. Um, I've always lined mine with leather and that's what I'm gonna show you today. I use anywhere from three to six ounce uh, leather. You can pick your favorite one. I try to use one that won't have a dye um, come off. That right there on the left is Super 77. That's how you're going to install the leather pieces. Uh, it takes a little planning in advance, about an hour of uh, cutting the shapes out that you're going to need and labeling them and how they go in, which I'll show you the inside of the helmet. But wear a mask and wear gloves when you're dealing with Super 77. It, huffing is illegal in all 50 states. You're also going to want your helmet to sit for uh, at least a day to air out to make sure all the adhesive fumes are gone. Um, that way, you know, you don't want to install this and then immediately slam the helmet on and start fighting because if you had a like a closed space the helmet it, it'll it'll probably make you sick so let's look at the inside of this helmet real quick so some of this is is out here because I wanted you to see the steel so that's steel and then this has rivets all on the inside of it and what this leather does is is it deadens all the sound so you would spray super 77 in there and you can see it says labeled one two three four um, so I know what order they go in and I just went ahead and covered up these cheek pieces and then these uh, these pieces that, that cover the back of the neck um, and then you just press it into place like this and then that's it you guys have a soundproof helmet that covers up all of the uh, rivets so in case padding slides out of the way uh, or you want to change your padding out your rivets are still covered and then I just uh, I use velcro tabs two-sided velcro tabs and then I just go ahead and and I uh, put my padding in there or if I'm using a historical liner which I do a lot of times I just slip it in here and away we go so that's it guys I hope it helps you uh, in improve your fighting experience and it'll it'll keep things from sounding or feeling like a lightning bolt's going through your head. You know this loud uh, gong going off in your helmet. This uh this will make your shot sound more like a thunk or a thud as opposed to uh, you know electricity going through your your brain pan. Have a great day, guys. Bye.